Hi, in this video we're going to learn a little bit about the viewport. Now the viewport is a fundamental understanding and concept to mobile app development and design. So the viewport can be defined as the area that is currently visible to the user. So we can think of this as the viewport in our browser right now. So let's take a look at some simple markup. I just have the normalize CSS reset. You can find that by Googling normalize CSS. That's just there so we can work with a blank canvas and should display consistently among browsers. And I just have some simple internal CSS, just styling our body element. And I just have a H1 element inside our body. So let's head back over to the browser and right click and inspect element. I'm using Google's Chrome Canary. So I have this extra little drawer down here. If you don't see it, no worries. You can just go ahead and click this little open draw button here. Hide draw and open draw or show draw, I should say. Anyway, we have this little drawer that will pop up here and we have a device selection under the emulation panel. Let's go ahead and choose a Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Sorry if you can't see that selection there, but there we go. Samsung Galaxy Note 3. And we can click Emulate. Now you see this little warning down here letting us know that we should reload the page just so it's actually correct. Emulate and correct. Anyway, so we can see that we can kind of view this as if it were a device. We have this little round black thing rather than a cursor and slide across and whatnot. But as you can see, our page doesn't really, or our web page doesn't really fit inside the device width. It's kind of, uh, you could scroll left and right. And that's not very attractive or user friendly when you're developing for the mobile web or mobile web applications in particular. So what we want to go ahead and do is actually specify a viewport. And it's actually quite simple. It's actually a meta tag. So I'll just start up over here, meta, and we give it a name of viewport, and then a content. Now, you may see some different content for this viewport meta tag, but we're gonna stick with width equals device width, and then comma, we're gonna say initial scale equals 1.0. This will basically allow the HTML markup to be rendered in the browser as the device width. So we don't have this left and right scrolling happening. So let's go ahead and save this and bring it up in our browser and refresh. As you can see, the actual markup or the actual HTML that's loaded up in the browser is rendering inside our device emulation panel or area. So that's the viewport, the area that is currently visible to the user.